In previous lesson, we've learned how to use React hook form and how to control a text input in React Native. But if you have a look at this code, it's not the best practice. It's not the best code that we can do. I mean, it's not the purpose of React. We want to separate this code into components and make those components reusable. I mean, I want to create a controlled form input. It's one component and we call it when we want it. This will save us a lot of code repeating. Okay, how to do this? That's easy. First, let's open our components folder. Inside our components folder, let's create a new folder called controller. Controllers, okay? Inside it, let's create a new file. Let's call it form input controller.tsx and let's create a React Native component, okay? Now let's move our code from app.tsx to this component, to this new component. So let's take a copy of all of this code. Let's cut it, okay? And let's go and paste it here, like this. Okay, first let's do the necessary imports. For example, this import, let's import it from React hook form import controller from react hook for then let's import our text input from react native text input from react native let's copy the styles from app.tsx let's go here and copy this styling from here and paste it here okay and let's copy the also the text error from app.tsx let's copy it and paste it here. Let's format this code. Okay, now let's add some properties like control, okay, and errors. We need to pass them here. And also, we don't to leave here any static thing. Let's make all of things dynamic. For example, the name, let's convert it to a prop. So let's add a property here called name and pass it here. Okay. Don't worry about those red lines. At the end of this lesson, I'm going to add TypeScript. So those are just TypeScript issues. Okay. We have here also a placeholder. So let's pass it as a property like this. Placeholder equals to placeholder from properties. Okay, let's leave these rules, let's comment it or delete it because those rules, we want to make it also dynamic, not static and we're gonna use yup validation and create a good validation using yup library. So let's remove this line of code and let's comment this too. The error message, we're gonna handle this process in next lesson using yup in the very, very easy way. Okay, now let's press save and go and use our form input controller. Let's run our app. Now we've run our app. How to use our input then? Let me show you. First, you're gonna import it. It names form input controller, okay? And you're gonna pass the properties. The first property is the control. We're gonna take it from our use form hook the next property is the name and it's very 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 important property this property is gonna be user name to make this our controller unique okay third property is placeholder placeholder as user name and let's press save why our input is not taking the width let me check very quick the width yes i know i know why Let's remove this view and this view and add this comment here and let's press save. Now it works perfectly. Let's replace this email. Okay, what are we gonna do? Just we're gonna add another form input controller. 
we're going to pass the control of control. Then we're going to pass the name as email, like this. And finally, the placeholder, like this. Now, if you see, we can get rid of all of this code. Look. Now let's press save and let's try to add a username. And let's type any email, anything. We didn't add the validation yet. And let's press submit. Look, username is user, email is this email that we have entered. Let's press OK. Now it's easy to add any new controller. Let's just format our code like this, like this, to make it better. We got here a, a TypeScript error. We're going to fix it at the end of the video. It's better to type TypeScript when you are working, but I don't want to confuse you, so I'm leaving to later. Okay, let's create another one for password form input controller. Let's first pass the control equals to control. Then let's pass the name. It's going to be password. Third, let's add the placeholder. It's going to be password as well. And let's press save. Now we have three inputs, but we have here a thing. If we just type anything here, we want to make this password as a secure entry. So let's add this property secure text entry. It's not going to work. And I'm going to tell you why. Because here in our form input controller, we didn't pass the rest of this text input properties like secure text entry. Here it works, but there it will not work. So we want to pass the rest of properties. How to do this? That's pretty easy. Just add this object here and spread the props. I mean the other props and just add it here. Spread it here. Okay. Now, if you press save and go there, when we add your secret text entry with true, it's going to work. When we add it false, password will be shown. So let's make it true. If we just keep it like this, that means it's true. Okay. So now we have here an email, a username, a password with secure text entry. Now you can add any form input controller as you want, five, four, six, whatever you want. I want to mention, to mention the last thing. If you go here and text input, you're going to notice that we have here some choices are provided. For example, keyboard type. We have here this small email address, number bad. But if we go there in app.tsx and we just add anything we don't have here any options to choose from how to solve this problem typescript is gonna solve it so now let's go and add typescript to our component now let's add typescript to our reusable component okay first let's create our interface let's create it here interface form input controller props and let's pass our property first the control property is going to be control we import it from react hook form it's a type we import it from there and we're going to pass in it field values from also react hook forms okay that's the first property the second property is errors this earth, let's make it optional for now and let's import field errors from React talk form also and let's add inside it also the field values. Then the name, this name is gonna be string and this is required and very important. The placeholder is gonna also be string. Finally, the props or other props is going to be text input props, text input props. 
okay now let's connect this interface with our components let's just add here import the fc from react we import it from react and let's pass inside it our interface name now let's format our code now our code looks better than before now let's press save and let's go then to our app.tsx we have here we still have here errors why we still we have errors let's see the property props is missing let's go and make it optional and let's press save we still have here error this property is not provided so let's use it from props so if you want to add props just type props and open a new object and just type any prop property that you want look here you are you can here see the options is provide are provided for example you can add secure text entry lock it appears to us and let's make it true now let's press save why this property is not working i don't know why this is gonna be this should be hidden let's go and check form input controller and see here's props pro yes we need to remove this three dots and press save now it works now let's add any name and any email and let's press submit now we have here username email and password and we add here typescript don't miss the next video we're gonna add validation using yub because this is not a valid email so we want to add some rules to this email okay thanks for watching and see you in next time